Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here outside in my garden with my lovely little bar top slash DJ booth. Um, thank you very much for joining us for another beer review. It's another Virgin beer review. Uh, we're going to be full of them today. And yeah, I'm outside in my garden uh, hoping, coming forward on the channel, this is going to be a place where I'm going to review beers, but also I'm going to hop behind there, get my decks out, and hopefully do some DJ mixes if. YouTube will allow me it won't cut me off now if you're brand new to this channel if you've just joined us here welcome to the hop house we like hoppy beer we like house music if you like either of those or both give us one of those give us a like share subscribe to this channel if you want to you don't have to it's a free world you can just walk on by right do you want to see what we're reviewing today okay so I've done um, I've done the karma chameleon from New York come on come on come on come on come on and I've just done the vocation Day Trip Pale Ale, which was stunning, absolutely wonderful beer. The Karma Chameleon was nice, it was nice, sort of sharp, zesty start to the day. Um, I'm gonna have a bit of palate cleanser now, so we're going for a sour. And I said I put an order in with Vocation, I actually got this from Vocation's website, um, but it's not a Vocation beer. Oh, no, 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 do you wanna see what it is? Okay, so it's from Guilo, or Guilo, in Hong Kong, and it's their Rainbow Sherbet Sour. It's a very loud can, as you can see. Now Guilo, Guilo, I think they were in some sort of partnership with Vocation. I think it's now ended. I don't know if they, they were being contract brewed over at Vocation site at Hebden Bridge or whether they were just their partner in the UK to launch sort of the brand. But a lot of the Guilo beers that were on their website were reduced to clear. So this is one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I could do with burping stuff up so a sour beer is going to be good for me right now uh, ABV wise it's 4.5 percent it says so there in very small writing 440 mil can I think it's only cost me a couple of quid because it was in the reduced to clear bit of vocations website uh, or was it with the 20 percent off one or the other so rainbow sherbet sour so I'm not quite sure if this is going to be one of those sweet non-sour pastry sour jobbers or if it's actually going to twist my tongue inside out I'm hoping so because I could do with a bit of a palate cleanser do you know what? I've just noticed now this is four and a half percent. The previous beer I did, the pale ale was five. So I probably should have done this second. So that's a bit of a rookie mistake. But I need a palate cleanser. Right, let's get out into the glass. Use my beer cold glass for this one. You're gonna look like sherbet dip. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's sort of pinky. It looks like peach juice or something like a glass of pins right that's your beer in the glass in the glass interesting looking beer oh the fly nearly almost went in there not gonna fit the whole can in so we'll have to put a bit more in later this is a 330 mil two-thirds glass right the head is it is sizzling, it is crackling away, that head's going to disappear quickly, which is sort of what you want with a sour, really. Uh, I've got another interesting sour beer in my beer box, the other side of the garden, that I picked up uh, at a new craft beer shop that I found in Brum. Um, I'll have to do that soon, because it really intrigues me. But anyway, less of that beer. This one, as you can see, the head's dissipating, it's going downhill. I can see little bitty bits of floater sedimenty jobber so there's a bit of sediment in it that's kind of cool should we go for some aroma it's aroma time we're going to put that into there if you're new to these videos we're going to give it a whiff see what we can sniff yeah it's got that again if you're new to these videos or if you're if you're the uh, Gennard brothers, you know who you are. Have a guess what this smells like. I say it all the time, it smells like soda pop gun when the syrup goes and it smells a bit soda watery and a bit rough. Equally, I found that smell recently um, in the gym. I go to Pure Gym and I use, uh, put the machine, you get free sort of um, workout drink and the syrup had gone in it, I was a bit like, whoa, smells like a sour beer. But anyway, I've got that smell, but I've also got sherbet dip. It does, it smells like 
the, the, the old sherbet dip sweets for, um, that I used to have when I was a kid. Quite a bit actually. That's the secondary smell. In fact it's 50-50, it's sort of soda pop gone, syrup gone, sherbet dip. And they're fighting to, they're trying to, trying to decide which one's going to be the dominant flavour, dominant smell. So I have a feeling this could be quite sweet rather than sour. But then again, I thought of that before and it's made me tongue twist around a bit. So should we um should we give it a try? I think we should. I think we should go for it. Bottoms up, down the hatch, cheers. It's not sour, not sour sour. I'm trying to give it its chance, but it's not. It's not bad though. It's not bad. Well, I've got a load of other floaty bits gone in there now. Whoa, there's a lot of sediment in that. In the, in the bottom of that glass. I'm not going to pick it out on camera, are you? But it's there, trust me. Hello? It, it's there. If I move my face out the way, is it going to focus? No. It's a little tart. Probably for those people that are not used to sours, they're probably going to find it quite tart, but it's not, it's not like a wah, wah kind of drink that I've had from other sours. It's more gentle than that. Um, it's fruity. It tastes like lemon sherbet. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Mm. Oh, I was waiting for that. That's what I wanted. Oh, thank you say the sours always make me burp um, I don't know what the process is with souring but I, I think it's something to do with soda water because it's oh, it's making me burp pardon me it's good though it's getting it off my chest it's really sure but lemony it really is In the mouth, it's quite zippy. There's a sharp carbonation there, it sort of zings down the side of the tongue. These beers do, I heard it sizzle when I opened it, they had to spear quite quickly. So it behaved quite well for a sour beer. Um, is it more a pastry sour or a modern sour, whatever they call them, these sweet, sweet and sour beers? I love the smell of it. Oh, it's sherbet dip, it just. lemon sherbet sizzles down the side of the tongue then when you swallow it just gives you a little bit of tartness and then right at the back of the mouth that aftertaste again that I always seem to get with sour beers it's like a, just a little bit of fresh almost like fresh mineral water just sort of trickles right at the back of your tongue it's like it's refreshing your mouth it's rehydrating you trust me it's not as beer it's not rehydrating you at all it's just, it's tricking your mind into thinking it's rehydrating you, but it's not. It's alright, you know. I don't know what I was expecting with this beer. I, don't know. I just expect the sour to be sour. It's Rainbow Shirt that's sour, limited batch. Does it say anything on the can? I don't think it, oh, it does. Right, so first of all, it gives us a bit about the um, the brewery. It's all on its side, look. But because of the bright right near the can and the white letters, look at that. It's not the easiest to read, so bear with. Standby caller. Uh, Guilo. Pronounced Guilo. Cantonese term meaning ghost chap. Number two, Cantonese slang term to describe foreign settlers. Excuse me, in Canton in the 16th century. Uh, 
Told you it might be burp, didn't I? Uh, number three, affectionate slang term used to describe foreigners in Hong Kong. Number five, we've got not got number four. Number four has been skipped. So it goes one, two, three, and then five. Exceptional craft beer born in Hong Kong, brewed with talent, expertise, and above all modesty. You can take the guilo out of Hong Kong, but you can't take Hong Kong out of the guilo. So, then a bit about the beer. Uh, Rainbow Sherbet Sour takes you on an intriguing journey through sweet and sour. Raspberry puree, lemon zest, and the kettle sour base continue to deliver a sharp tang, which is nicely balanced by a sweet, satisfying body. Best enjoyed with fruity, sour lace sweets from your childhood. Yeah, Guilo Hong Kong. Yeah, I thought they were Chinese based Hong Kong. Um, I think they've now stopped brewed and canned by Guilo International by Vocation Brewery, Hebden Bridge. Yeah, so I, I knew they were. I knew the contract brewing it out of Hebden Bridge. Uh, this is well in date, December 2022. I think it's still on offer this, and there's a Guilo IPA as well, which I didn't pick up. I think it sold out when I put this order in and it's now come back into stock. So if you want to check out some Hong Kong beer, go check out Guilo on vocationbrewery.com. I think we've gone into partnership with someone else now. I think I heard on the grapevine it's Brew York. So they're still sticking with Yorkshire. Yeah, there's no head nut whatsoever now, look. It's gone. It's gone. Hmm. Oh, there's a QR code -y thing there. If you wanna. Oh, that's his camera, there it is. There you go, if it'll, let, if it'll focus in. If you wanna zoom in on that, you can do. Um, although it's not sour, it's put a smile on my face. It has. So, I, I like it, I like it. Um, would I buy it again? Do you know what, sour beers, have been something over the past 12 months that I've really come to quite like uh, and that's that's another one that, that's put a smile on my face it's not probably not the best example of a sour sour but it just takes me back to my childhood so I like it because of the memories so based on that I'm gonna give it a thumbs up yeah, I'll give it a thumb and a half go on I'll be nice I'll give it a thumb and a half it's all right it's decent yeah, we love rainbow sherbet sour. Go on Vocation's website, they've still got cans of this. You can get it in a six pack as well if you really like sherbet. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We've got one more beer to do, and uh, I'll see you then. Ciao for now, people.